Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Aries. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get your energy, Aries, and see what comes up for you. All right, love yourself first. So there's some self-love going on here. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And your person wants to make an effort here. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And the oh, true love is between the two of you. This is a romance of a lifetime. Wow. <laughs> All right, Aries. Let's see. Let's get a tarot card for you. Hmm, you're not able to move forward just yet with the chariot in reverse. First, hmm, you might be stuck in the past or can't move forward for some reason. It could be obsession or a feeling of defeat. Uh -oh, look at that. You are in a higher position above the rest in a position of advantage here when it comes to this competition. But you aren't moving forward just yet. You're still working on your self-love. Let's see about your person here. Oh, they may be single, doing well all on their own. They're satisfied with what's what's here for them with the nine of pentacles. They may be financially stable, have material security, having status and success, and rewards for their hard work here. Let's see. Oh, they may want to give you a cup of love. They may be embodying the King of Cups or they're thinking of you, Aries. So take it how it resonates. If you're a feminine and you're on this side, your person is single and self-sufficient and they want to make an effort after you're done with your loving yourself first. Why are they in competition here? This is the seven of wands here. So I'm kind of feeling like, hmm, this is something, I kind of feel like this is overcoming challenges here in a better position now or an advantage, um, but not going anywhere because you may be going through the dark night of the soul, loving yourself first, going and going through all that baggage so you're not carrying all that baggage with you when it comes to this connection. Let's look at your intentions here, Aries, and then we'll see what your person's intentions are. But your intention, Aries, what's your intentions towards this person? Ah, you are focusing on your self-worth right now. Time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. And I think I've mentioned something about shadow work. So what about your person? Yeah, they may have been heartbroken here, sad, feeling a little lost. They may have been grieving and mourning. They may want to still make an effort with you. They are single and embodying that King of Cups or they are the King of Cups as a masculine. This is someone that's emotionally balanced, generous, compassionate. What's your combined energy here? Mm, reminiscing, keepsakes, learning from the past and wanting to make memories here. Okay. Let's get your self-love here. Yeah, you might be close to moving forward here. Something coming in here, which could be this person. Let's see what's after tarot here. Oh, you may be willing to take that leap of the faith there, but you may not just be quite ready. You might still be hanging on uh, before you let yourself drop down. Uh, possibly there's uh, another platform underneath your feet here that you land on when you let go. I feel like you're just trying to be cautious here when it comes to something that may have happened between the two of you here. So let's look at your person. Heartbroken. What is that? 
uh, perhaps your person lost something here or didn't get the victory. Six of Wands in reverse here. So I'm kind of feeling with this, this is kind of like an ego hit for your person. They may feel like there was no rewards in taking this chance or it was a failure. But I really feel like this may have broken some type of ego ego uh hit here what about the after tarot yeah they may be um healing that broken heart they've taken all three swords out i feel like uh three chances kind of thing or three times this happened or just that like you've healed and patched up your heart your person did Let's look at what we have for lessons learned, Aries. What were the lessons you learned, Aries? What were some of the lessons you learned? This one wants to come. Be in the present and dream of the future. When you dream, everything is possible. You may have been focused on the past, Aries, too much, or your stability. You weren't really, I feel like, Maybe too giving. Maybe it may have been about the potential in this. Instead of seeing what is, you may have seen what could be. And there's a big difference between the two. Seeing what could be is great for the future. But if you're not seeing what is right now in this person, maybe they're not able to live up to that potential. This could be a screen book, handbook of yours that you're writing that this person has no knowledge about. They may not know the rules or what kind of handbook do you have written with the rules in it. So they may not be aware of what you're expecting. Let's see, what is your person feeling or learning? Choosing love, you always have choice, make yours with love. This has to do with number three, creativity, groups, and growth. So they may not have chose themselves at all and always chose somebody else here instead of choosing self, maybe giving too much of themselves. And you may have been focused too much on your stability, on your dollars. Aries. So let's see here. For you, you may may not have demonstrated a love here. Maybe your love language wasn't what the other one needed for each other. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. So this is number um 12 which is three this is some growth here you've learned uh perhaps you weren't giving enough attention to this person or demonstrating your love you just saw potential in them but you didn't see what they needed right now and your person may have not chosen love or not feeling like they had a choice when it came to this love. Let's have a look here. Be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. And maybe was um, kidding themselves about how they truly felt. Maybe have settled instead of seeing what was true or what their intuition was trying to tell them but they're definitely learned things now. Let's have a look here at what this is. Being authentic. It looks like you both needed to be true to yourself um, with the same card coming out once again here. So, cause this is your combined energy, right? So maybe you both weren't being authentic. Yeah, there may have been a competition maybe between the two. Maybe you were competing with your person. But to know a true relationship is about a team player. It's not about who's 
got the better job or more money and who is less than and who is more than it should be that you're both gaining from being together there shouldn't be any type of power struggle here about who's better or any competing energy it should be you two against the world and if it's not that then perhaps this is not your person there may have been other people here let's have a look and see what happens here wow ten of pentacles so your person may be um made a lot of money here they're definitely in that ten of pentacles and there may have been a competition of who might make more let's get another couple here to see what this is okay so your person may be very nice looking very nice to look at um, they're showing up as that king of wands this is somebody that's a risk taker somebody that's a visionary who's ambitious and respected and has leadership and authority let's see here let's see about your other how about your person oh there's love here they may be working on their legacy um but they definitely have feelings here this may be you or your person take it switch it flip it however it resonates for you as i've said intention you are on the left aries and your person is on the right here so they have a lot of love here for you they may be leaving a legacy for generations to come here let's have a look at what the after tarot is yeah there may have been some secrets here maybe you put your person in competition here um, something there's some type of illusion here maybe another person in the mix with this third party showing up under the moon here this person here so let's see what the after tarot is for your person yeah they're the star you're the moon so they are a healing energy they may get a lot of attention but they have a lot of hope and promise they're a healer i'm getting they are, have that healing energy people kind of gravitate to them they may be getting guidance from spirit and they have a lot of faith they're very smart they're analytical with that aquarius energy here with the star and this is i'm kind of feeling like maybe even a platform um, public recognition of some sort yeah wow so they're really doing well and have a lot of love here to share but there was something that went horribly wrong here aries with this moon energy with this competition here so let's look at what the feelings are that you may have for your person aries i'm just gonna get a couple out here oh an ending happened here i know that there is no greater goal than to love because success is here and maybe you've been lonely here for your person and i'm just gonna get one of the purple cards here yeah, you may be suffering in silence here when it comes to what you really want in life. And patience and planning for your person. They may have had a lot of patience here. They may be resting and rejuvenating. I'm getting that hermit energy, maybe even um, meditating. Yeah, they may have received judgment or they're calling judgment on what happened between the two of you maybe there's judgment coming in um, towards you maybe you're going through some karma here yeah you might be going through your shadow self as well to get you closer to your this may be your person here they may be healing i'm getting that resting and planning and karma coming in for somebody here uh, i feel like it's justice for your person aries that they are getting someone else is facing judgment when it comes your person's going to get the justice because they only had love in their heart here 
So something's happened here. What is your two combined courageous? Having the courage, maybe I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So your person may be confident, you may be confident, or you both have confidence when it comes to one another. You're willing to give that equal give and take here. What's the after tarot? Yeah, you're quite satisfied where you're at. You're at the nine of cups. You're, um, what do you want to call that? Uh, satisfied, you're fulfilled, you're content. You have that sense of well-being here all on your own. You may be a little lonely. Maybe you feel like you're suffering in silence over this ending here. What about your person? Yeah, they may have been juggled by you or they're trying to adapt to something here. Let's see. Let's see after tarot. Yep, they are single. They are back here at the Nine of Pentacles doing well for themselves all on their own. Okay. Let's see what actions you're going to take towards this person. What's your actions towards this person? Aries. Shield. You may be defensive, protective. You may block this person on social media. You maybe want to be their hero. I feel needed. I feel like you want security. You might be on guard with this person. This is Aries energy. You're coming out in your own reading. You may be the masculine here or the masculine is your person. This could be your love interest is a man or this is your who you are. You may be a masculine. So let's see what else. Shooting star. <clears throat> Aries once again with the number eight. You're coming out again in your reading. You want to take some quick action. There's a wish granted here, something that's rare. There's a moment in time that you're going to have luck. This is sudden. This is passionate. This is something that may be passing through your energy soon. Let's have a look at what your person's actions are. They may be doing yoga, doing the breath work, contemplating, taking that relax, taking that break, break to do their inner child healing, which we know they're trying to balance their chakras, reflect. They're trying to get their wellness under control. They may have Libra in their chart. Number four is trying to get that stability under control, trying to be stable all on their own, perhaps. Wow, flamingo, Pisces energy, soulmate, lovers, union, courtship, dating, attraction, long-term potential, seduce, displays of affection is kind, two of a kind, alluring, je ne sais quoi. I don't know if I said that right, but let's see what else we have is sudden and unexpected an accident walking into each other perhaps this may be a shock ripping off the band-aid surprise or a reckoning and the jack of diamonds is the page of pentacles so the page of pentacles is somebody that grows their money independently here they're goal oriented they're willing to learn financial um perhaps learning the financial uh financials of a company or there's some type of ambition here let's see let's have a look at the combined energy first fish finances investments prosperous money income multiply large quantity lavish bodies of water so this is number seven this is king of diamonds which is king of pentacles which is wealth intellect abundance having that power that ambition being a provider so we have nine two eight eight and we have four two ten you can type those numbers in you could also have nine one eight seven 
and 4217. And you could check those numbers. Oh, I just about threw them all together. We don't want to do that. <laughs> all right, so let's see what we get for you, Aries. You may be holding on to your money or holding on to this person or saving your money here. This is your Empress here. If you are the masculine, this is your Empress. Wow, okay. Or you see this person as your Empress, okay. Let's see. Let's get one more for you, Aries. Wow, this is a blessing that has come in for you, this Empress. And they may be watching you or you may be watching this Empress. Take it how it resonates. Let's have a look here. You may be this person's blessing. Yeah, you wanna team up with this person, put into the same pot here, cooperate, have harmony with this person. You want to collaborate with this person, learn new ideas, share goals. What about your person? Oh, they want marriage here. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> They're looking for that happily ever after, I feel, with the Four of Wands here. This is kind of like that happy home life. This is having that harmony and love is in the air kind of energy here. Going on a trip or going home, going together to your home moving somebody in let's get another one for you aries yeah you may see this person as the queen of wands very beautiful very um confident and determined self-assured kind of fiery actually with the fire there behind it and wow there's a tower there's an upheaval here something spirit shaking shit up here <laughs> What is this? Let's get one more card for that tower. Ah, you might be watching this person. Other people are starting to come in. You might be watching them on Facebook or some type of social media. Wow. So let's see here. You may have other people watching this person too. Maybe they have a platform. We do see the star here. So... A lot of people may love this person too. Oh, my beloved Aries, this is what you are saying to your person through, though we may be physically apart, physically we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. This is a sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. Wow, okay, so. You desire this person quite a bit here. Let's get one more for you. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way about this person. Now, what about your person here? How are they feeling here? Ooh, yeah, they're still healing. Secret admirer. So they may know you are a secret admirer or there's other people that are secretly admiring your person. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on and healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded in light. Feel the relationship being healed at this very moment. And one more for your person. Power. Okay, so you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time so you may not want to do this with this person or spirit has maybe spoken to you that you are meant for something different let's see what your combined energy is Beware of what you're projecting for qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. That mirroring is usually twin flamish and it usually has to do with a twin flame union. Okay, let us get a card for you. Oh, okay, and a card 
for your person. Yeah, they are healing with the three of swords in reverse. And this is saying healing, forgiving, and letting go. You may be uh, working on your pentacles. You may be at the queen of pentacles status where you're getting material success. You're being resourceful, reliable, nurturing, and practical. And maybe nurturing towards this person, knowing that they are healing their wounds of maybe your breakup with them. Because this is a true love uh, between you two. Let's get another one for you. You may not want to celebrate just yet. Maybe you haven't told this person how you feel, which we kind of see with that secret admirer, unless that's someone else. The Three of Cups in reverse, though, usually that has to do with adultery or overindulgence in possibly other substances. Let's see. What about your person? Yeah, they may have walked away. They were pretty hurt here. Possibly was adultery. Maybe this is somebody else that you were with at the time or the third party here. Let's look at the after tarot and see what happens here. For you, you're showing up as the King of Pentacles and there's the Queen of Pentacles is here. Let's see. Yeah, you're giving an offer here of the Page of Cups, but you're fumbling it because Page of Cups is somebody that's kind of immature. It's not a big um, offer here. It's a cup of love, and with the fish falling out, you may have not have put your best foot forward to this person. Let's see here. Let's get another one for you. Yeah, you got caught red-handed here. And your person already made the decision regardless if you wanted to fight for this person. Let's look at the spiritual advice, what spirit's advice is. Uh, having to prioritize. Perhaps you weren't prioritizing this person. You were putting it into other things or other people. Claire Sentient. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they are signifying divine guidance and teaching and learning. So your person may have gifts here. They may be able to feel the energy. They may be able to read the energy really well. And they may be teaching and learning um, on this platform that I see with the star here. Perhaps they are using their gifts to help others here. Let's get one more for you. From Spirit's Advice. Relationship Harmony. Archangel Regul, you we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So there may be some harmony coming in between the two of you here. Let's see what the... Oh, there's peace between the two of you. So peace comes from remembering that only love is real, which is so true. Let's see what you get here. Yeah, you may be thinking about this person. They could be a past person that you've been with. Obviously, if there was a broken heart here and true love, they want to make the effort. And But you're healing yourself, so let's see what your person feels here. Oh, they might be willing to cooperate with you, be a team player. But just because they're willing to be friends does not mean that they want to go any further than that, okay? So let's just see what you get. Oh, your wheel is turning in your favor. And what about your person? Ah, oh, they may have called judgments uh, for what happened here. Perhaps you've gone through your karma already, or there's karma yet to come. But with the wheel of fortune turning in your favor right now, you may have already gone through this with this ending. <sighs> Perhaps you got success, but it wasn't in what you were hoping it for. You were lonely and you were suffering in silence when it came to things. So perhaps you already went through some type of karma here for being caught. Um, let's see what we get for after tarot. Yeah, you may be collecting um, on your good fortune here. 
because you did show up as the king of pentacles and wow your person has turned out to be the emperor so even if they are a feminine or a masculine they're showing up in their masculine side here and they've mastered all the elements to become the emperor that's the wands the cups the swords and the pentacles all four of the kings to become that now they could be in their masculine uh, energy even if they are feminine because they're taking things into their own hands and this may be that masculine energy to find that security for themselves to do things all on their own that independence and having the confidence and ambition and being a leader okay so even if they are a feminine and you are the masculine things they're they're showing up on their masculine side let's give you another card here yeah you may want to look into spirituality gain some knowledge about this person or you may just simply want to marry this person let's see what about your person uh oh they may know you're trying to come back maybe they want to come towards you in the knight of wands okay so sometimes the knight of wands is charging ahead being impulsive that kind of here for a good time not a long time but i feel like this is not one of those times i feel like this is somebody that's fast thinking um they're being assertive about what they're doing and they may not be and they might not be stoppable for what they're going after and a it may not be about this marriage so let's try to see what is going out for the outcome here what's going on for the outcome for aries yes there is a change coming here with fruition something is changing somebody might be moving out here oh okay so oh i see what this says okay so the the change is that this person you may feel stuck about this person and you may have realized too late that this person was a gift from spirit okay aries let's see yeah the courtship was the gift okay so it was never about the money let's see here let's see here for your person yeah lovers here they may have been in that energy of love they may even have said they loved you they may have loved you this person's held in high honor um they have, i kind of feel like they're not one of those people that is one to kind of put themselves out there they're more of a relationship type of person i'm with that high honor with the lovers here i'm feeling that this is important to them this is what they regard regard as the highest frequency and that is love and that's what they put as something high on their list okay yeah an official person here so they may only see potential in people that are worth having in their energy okay and you may have been put together to learn lessons from one another let's see here yeah they're on their pathway here i feel like spirit holds this person in high honor the official person could be spirit to get them to go onto their path or they just put a lot of importance when it comes to love and i don't feel like they just give this love to any just anybody and they're on their pathway they're they're working for spirit here they're on their pathway to helping others learn about spirituality possibly here so let's see what the combined energy is yeah this might be a mature woman that we're talking about here and if you are the masculine then this is your person here that puts love in high regard and they may be gifted 
and they were your gift and possibly if you're stuck now imprisoned when it comes to love I feel like this yeah you may you may have not uh, you fumbled it I'm sorry to say here Aries when it came to this person you missed out on an opportunity here with this person what about your person's energy here yeah there was some truth that you needed to be speaking to them and I feel like you may have lied to them because with that spirit saying there was some type of truth that needed to break through here there needed to be some mental clarity which is kind of giving me there was lies involved here okay we're not taking all of those let's get one more card for your person yeah you you may not want an ending with this person but with the death card in reverse I'm kind of getting that secretive Scorpio energy maybe there was a delay maybe an unwanted change some fear here when it came to love let's see you may have been fearing it had to do with financial and it was not yeah there was no balance here and with justice in reverse this person may have called for judgment to happen there was something unfair unbalanced this this is karmic debts that are going to have to be paid uh, towards this mature woman you may have already paid this or it is yet to come let us see here for Aries my goodness what is going on here let's see what is this death card in reverse yeah it had to do with truth man there was lies lies here when it came to this courtship you missed out on a great opportunity with this person and you may be stuck for a while here up to 10 years not having any love yeah it was an empty victory that you got with the five of swords this is an empty victory this is hostility and um, winning at all costs arguments and conflict an empty victory it didn't it nobody won yeah you may have given an offer here or there's going to be an offer here that's going to be accepted by this mature woman but that may not be with you so let's see one more card yeah accepting an an yeah accepting an offer here hmm let's see one more card here who is this offer from yeah okay so this is somebody that's guarded here and this is somebody that is intelligent independent strong and determined and this is change yeah there's justice here this is karma taking someone else's offer here let's see with the queen yeah this is some you were worried about some type of money uh, financial you maybe thought this person was after your money and that was the farthest thing from their mind yeah they walked away yep to calmer waters sorry Aries let's see what you're their intuition is saying or your intuition is saying yeah this was a toxic situation for this person or for the both of you yeah for your empress this was they see this as toxic here they may be a capricorn as well aries maybe your empress is a capricorn maybe you really desire this capricorn maybe you see this person as your empress but they see this relationship as toxic they're showing up as both the higher or the empress and the emperor 
So with them being single, they are embodying both energies. They are good with their light and their dark self. Yeah. Hmm. This could be someone else coming in for them, and it could be an emperor. But they do not take your offer. I'm so sorry, uh, Aries, but um, whatever this truth was, uh, somebody lied to you about this person. There was some unbalance here. Maybe you lied to this person as well. And then somebody lied to you or whatever this is. They went to calmer waters and um, another offer came in for them. And this might be this other person coming in here. This could be your karma that they are going to move on with someone else and you are going to be left to watch this person move forward with someone else I'm this may not be for all of you but for some of you that may be what's going on here they may be glowing up here is kind of what I'm getting here yeah they're a star they're gonna have they're working on their legacy here and they embody love here and that's evident here as well with the lovers and the two of cups and that's usually a twin flame true love was on the table what is this here uh, there was control issues here you may have wanted to be in control of this Aries hmm anyway this is what I have for you Aries it's um uh, Sorry it didn't turn out differently, but sometimes it's what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we will see you next time. All right, later.